What advice can you give to beginners in meditation? Or beginner meditation? Beginner meditation. We have two kinds of meditation, I think three kinds. Walking meditation and sitting meditation. And the sitting meditation is a little hard, so the beginner maybe can walk. Or under kind of uh, sitting meditation, we call dynamics meditation. Dynamic meditation for the beginners, maybe they can do it. Okay. Stay like this, and then bring your arm up and go to your stomach, and then left hand the same, go to the stomach, and then go to your chest and go to your knee, arm down, the same. This one we call dynamic meditation. This one for the for the beginner, it, it is more easier. What it about is, walking meditation? How do you do walking, walking meditation? Walking meditation, you have to walk, and you have to aware when your step on the ground. So, uh, if you don't use the shoes, it's better because it's easy to feel when we touch the ground. Yeah, it's very really good. And your hand we can put in front or behind. It's okay. It's uh, it up to. How long should you practice for? First time, first time is I think it's 15 minutes. It's okay. Yeah, because. Oh, 30 minutes is too long. <laughs> what you 10 or 15 minutes, yeah, and then we have to develop more and more and more, yeah. And what are you thinking about when you're walking? When you're walking? No, we just uh, realize or we just awareness, are we, are, are we call aware, aware, when we touch the ground and we concentrate about breathe in and out. Or some teacher, she teach when we walk, uh, we like try to remember something like Buddha or something yeah, different. But the idea is to concentrate. Concentration. When we work, concentration. When we walk, we have to to aware in the present moment yeah is the idea but anything you can count one two one two or you can do anything to concentrate to aware on the present moment yeah because when people people minds when they stay in the like a quiet place sitting in a quiet place or walking in a quiet place our minds think a lot about the past and the future <laughs> So this is the Buddha is called dukkha or suffering. When we think a lot too much about that, people got suffering. You know, a lot of upset with that. Yeah. Can't sleep, can't eat, can't eat, and then get sick. <laughs> and meditation helps to cure you. Yeah, cure, cure your yeah. cure your illness. Yeah, can help. Can help a lot. If we practice uh, every day as our habit and longer and longer, we start from 15 minutes and then 20 minutes, 25 or one hour or something like that. Especially in the morning, I again in the morning is very good because our brain in the morning is a little relaxed and before we go to work or before we go to do something, we have to like clean our <laughs> brain. <laughs> yeah, it's very nice, our mind. Yes. And then when something happens, uh, like an uh, emergency, you realize, you know that. When we know, when we realize, it is very good. You know, I'm not sure nobody wants to do something bad or something like that, but in some case, we know it well. And in the evening, is it good to meditate before yeah. sleeping? Yes, good before go to bed too. Yeah.
Did you have time like twice times a day? It's very good. And meditation help a lot, especially if making people like calm down, you know, real life with the nature. It is the true nature, and then we can like more patient, calm down. Do you have to join a group or take a course, or can you do it by yourself? No, the idea is you can do it by your own. It's okay, yeah. But we need uh, some advice from teacher, or from someone that they experience with that. It's so good. Yeah. But now it's good, you know. You can search in internet, YouTube, and you know how to practice, and you practice by yourself. But meditation is not. to learn from yourself so we have to practice and when we practice when we see it or we practice walking meditation or sitting meditation when, I mean when we practice the thing that happens is different it's not the same you know so it's hard to explain that and has been put into jail. If they take meditation, it can extinguish this anger? Yes, if they realize. Yeah. They take more time and then they understand. They must practice how long do you think they get some results? It depends. It depends. It's not 